Hi, I'm Steve Colangelo from Enritsu, and today basically we're, we're going to take a look at one of the latest trends in wireless technology, and that's obviously the switch from coax to fiber. So the implementing of fiber into towers has kind of been a necessity based on the bandwidth and optimization that you need. However, dealing with fiber is very different than what the technicians are used to. Obviously being glass, it's much more fragile and brittle and dependent upon installation conditions. So what we're going to do today is take a quick look at what type of testing needs to be done to insert, ensure that the fiber has been installed and certified properly. That'll be done using our MT9083 OTDR. Think of it as kind of a, a site master or basically optical radar that, that maps the fiber. We'll do this using something called Fiber Visualizer, and this is designed to really simplify the testing to the point that all you would do is take the fiber jumper, which would go from the base station equipment to the OVP, and then up the tower to the remote radio head, connect that to the unit, select the Fiber Visualizer mode, and press Start. From here, what this does to simplify the, process, the complicated process is automatically selects all the parameters that are needed and ensures things are connected properly. So within a matter of about 10 seconds, you'll have everything set up, the data collected, and a simple, easy to view summary. Starting with the zero point, which would be your connection to the test equipment. It would then map to whatever the first event or characteristic is. In this case, it's, it's an OVP junction box as shown by the location and the particular loss of that. Next, we would move on to, in this case, which would be a stress condition or something known as a macro bend. Think of a garden hose. When you put a kink in a garden hose, you restrict the flow. The same thing can happen from this optical cable. You put a kink in it, it affects the loss, it affects the throughput, and it shows up as basically a point drop of signal on the, on the test equipment, that being a point that has to be resolved or remedied to make the system operate properly. And then just moving across the screen, basically the end of the fiber is also denoted so you know the length of the span. In this case it would represent testing again from the base station up to the remote radio head and mapping all of the events. Once this is done you can also look at the physical graph of that entire unit or enti that entire cable and finally Create, you can generate a PDF report that gives you the summary of all of that cabling. Another thing that's important with optical testing is looking at the actual connector condition. You know, here's an example of what those connectors look like. It's a glass end face. Think of it as the windshield of a car. If it's dirty, you can't see through it. It's very similar with a light. If it's dirty, it can't pass through it. So what we'll do using our, what we call video inspection probe or connector inspection microscope, We'll select that mode, and basically this is just a, a camera that allows us to view that particular connector. So what that allow you to do is basically look at, look at the connector image and verify the condition and tell you if there's any contaminants and, and so on on it. So the idea behind this is it's an all-in-one test set, everything you would need for testing optical fiber for essentially any tower, DAS system, small cells, anything that's fiber connected, this will help you ensure that the installation is done properly.